Hey, my name is Matt Akins. I just uh, submitted some new shaders I made to the RetroArch uh, shader repository. So you can download these by going to uh, your main menu, online updater, update slang shaders. Uh, so what I did is I modified the Game Boy shaders. These are the ones that give that really cool uh, DMG or in Game Boy Pocket effect. I took it and I created three modifications. Uh, the first I'm most excited about is the Game Boy Color modification. I wanted to show you that now. Okay, so here we are in Pokemon Crystal. This is on a RG405M. The display is a little lighter, so you can tweak things like blending mode and neighbor display to make it a little more vivid. But you can see here that uh, it has that nice laminated effect, so there's a bit of a a drop shadow to the text there makes it look like um, there's depth to that screen, like it's a physical display. And the colors, this is actually without a Game Boy Color Pass filter. So these colors are all uh, modified by the shader and how it blends in with that background. So that looks pretty freaking cool. I'm gonna show you some other games. Let's go over to uh, Oracle of Seasons. Here we are in Oracle of Seasons. This looks beautiful. Yes, look at that, that nice pixel grid. Woohoo, baby, that looks so good. It looks, reminds me of, uh, you know, using the Game Boy Color as a kid. We're all chasing that nostalgic high here. And I think that this shader really does a good job just uh, bringing back memories. Um, you can see that the scale uh, is enforced, the integer scale, because this really falls apart um, without integer scale. Oh, look at that. It looks so good. Just takes me back. I wanted to show you uh, one other game, which is Mario Tennis. Mario Tennis. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, look at that. Ooh, that's some pixel art, man. Uh, I don't know about you, but Mario Tennis and Mario Golf, amazing underrated RPGs, narrative RPGs for the Game Boy Color. They really beat the Nintendo 64 versions to pieces here. Uh, I wanted to show you just some of these menus too, because they look so nice. Um, let me restart the game here. So this is Mario Tennis. Ooh, look at that pixely goodness. Pew, 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 pew. Looks... Oh man, just amazing. So what I did is I just took that original Game Boy shader and I modified it to pass through the color and the effect looked amazing. I wanted to show you the Pokemon Crystal title display as well. So we'll restart here. Look at that nice pixel goodness here, beautiful. I wanted to show you what some different settings look like um, based on tweak parameters. So the, this is the default with neighbor blending at 18, blending mode one. And again, this doesn't look great on the 405M, but these settings look really good on the Ain Odin. Uh, so you can kind of tweak to adjust. So you can try a different blending mode that makes it a bit darker, increase the neighbor uh, blending value and even mess with uh, gray balance and baseline alpha though i tend to just mess with uh, neighbor blending and blending mode so you can kind of tweak based on your device and on your display here's the default looks a little washed out on this display that's why we can tweak it a tweak much better i have also included game boy light mode and game boy dark mode so let me show you what those are. So let's load up an original. This only works with original grayscale games. We're gonna to go to Shadow Warriors here. So here we are. This is the uh, normal Game Boy Pocket filter. But what I can do now is go to Shaders, Load. And these, by the way, are under the Slang Handheld folder. If you update your Slang Shaders. Uh, we'll go to Game Boy Light Mode. 
Now this isn't a little different than the Game Boy Light, not to be confused with the Game Boy Light. This also takes care of your uh, um, motion blur, by the way, the lower refresh rate on these older displays. So Game Boy Light gives a blue background. Game Boy Pocket is a gray background. This gives you a true um, dark pixels on a white background look. So this is Game Boy Light mode. Now, what you can do is Game Boy Dark mode, and that just inverts it. So you can turn any game into a nice dark mode. Isn't that cool? It looks really cool for these original grayscale games. Again, just go to Quick Menu, Online Updater, Update Slang Shaders, and these will be added to your version of RetroArch. Uh, I'm particularly stoked about the Game Boy Color Shader. I'm going to be using that on my RG405M a lot, as well as the Anoden Pro. Uh, those shaders work really well on low-resolution handheld systems like the Game Boy Color or the Neo Geo Pocket Color. It does fall apart with systems with more pixels like SNES or uh, even Game Boy Advance. The effect kind of works, but... Uh, you're better suited with other um, filters for those types of systems. Thanks very much. Let me know what you think. And uh, I hope you really enjoy it. I hope it recaptures your childhood and imagination like it has for me. Thank you.